So, uh, we have all together we have about an hour until uh, we break for dinner. And uh, the first focus uh, of this hour is what moved you in the groups uh, around the presentations of Gianfranco. What do you want to say? Maybe you want to ask him something additional and discuss a bit. And uh, what came up uh, in two groups, uh, they have been uh, engaged in the question, so it's okay to deal with content and with programmatics, but we also want at least do a first round to discuss what is this meeting for? What should happen uh, next year or should we continue in any kind and in what direction not to discuss it uh, because tomorrow is the time to, to um, discuss it and that you can say what you want and make suggestions and we find out we have something to continue or not. But it, uh, it was uh, convincing for me that it's okay uh, and just even have at least a round to exchange your ideas and wishes on that. So that overnight and over dinner table, we can process this a little, a bit. Uh, so the first part is now uh, what moved you around the content uh, and the approach of business project coaching and what did you have to discuss? What do you want to say loud? and maybe discuss with Gianfranco. Der Redestab, the talking stick. Yes, I have a question. I think there are two concepts of entrepreneurship you bring together. The first one is the entrepreneur uh, one, one person firm, something like this, or being entrepreneur of my life or being entrepreneur in my uh, little tiny enterprise. And the other thing is being an entrepreneur in a big corporation, uh, being uh, obligated to the yeah, targets and, and strategic order of the company. And that makes for me a, a difference for, for coaching too. And uh, I uh, um, think about how would you uh, make the difference between these two concepts or two you know, forms of entrepreneurship. And in another group I heard uh, also the question, how is this different from leadership training? Is it really different or not? Other questions, other contributions? <clears throat> Just these two? No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Stop, 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 stick to her. It's only for recording. Do you want to say something now? No? Please. Uh, yeah, I would recommend that you just explain much more regarding your example you delivered to us because at the beginning of our group we were really thinking, okay, what is the connection to organization development and did we catch all your messages? And then we were glad that you invited, uh, um, joined us in the group and explained much more. And now I got your mas messages you to, <laughs> to the whole. No, I just would say <laughs> because it was much more interesting. Ah! <laughs> I try. Okay. Go. Okay. The first thinking was in our group, we were thinking after your uh, presentation, we thought, okay, your message is go on, coaches, catch all the market of the new entrepreneurs. And then we thought, okay, it's a great idea, um, but it's only a marketing idea. And then you described us your work with a special company. And now I understand that your approach is when you do project business coaching, be aware that you go into the company, find the subject with the company, and this is now my connection to organizational development. Right? 
Now it's your turn. <laughs> people understand this connection? No, oh, not everyone. Because I believe that I uh, describe, I describe, I describe the process better. Okay, so when, uh, for example, a general manager ask for help his people, his executives, to be more cooperative because there is a change in the market that requires a more integrated approach to the, to, in the services. The, 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 the passage from a product-oriented offer to a solution-oriented uh, offer. Is that clear? Okay. How do we propose our intervention? Well, we say this is a problem that requires a change in the individual attitudes and priorities and the behaviors. This is a change that requires a different kind of cooperation among people. And this is a, uh, a, a, a change that Im implies some different policies, some different programs, some different presentations, initiatives to the market, okay? So you have three changes to introduce. One is individual behavior. Second is organizational behavior. Third is business processes that must change. We propose to that we intervene at all these three levels, and we do it by a development center where we um, help people to assess themselves against seven competencies that the, the, the steering committee of the company uh, choose as the most critical competencies to develop in the new uh, strategy or in the new market requirements, okay? In this development center, people become aware of their gaps against these seven um, com competencies. And, they, 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 and so from there we begin the individual coaching uh, because we develop a, an individual development plan in order to improve behaviors that need to be improved. And we do it cooperatively, uh, jointly, sharing you know, our opinion and the opinion of the manager implied. Second, we decide some team coaching meetings in order to reinforce common gaps areas. Third, we um, help the group in the same development center to, to uh, create, to generate new business ideas coherent with this strategic change and uh, uh, create subgroups to uh, work on these ideas, to become project. So, if there, there are six ideas, we ask them, well, maybe you can present these ideas to the steering committee, and the steering committee will choose two or three of these ideas and give you the responsibility for developing this project within six or eight months. So we began at that point working individually as a group and as subgroups project teams. These project teams is the way they develop jointly new organizational behaviors, new behaviors that are implied by the right, uh, the, the change in the strategy. Is this clear now? Maybe it's more clear or? More clear. I didn't mention that. It's written though in the, uh, I, I had to accelerate because uh, uh, but <laughs> yeah, it was too long. It was too long. But you will find the slides. You will find on the on the yeah. the website. And that's what I meant by uh, uh, 
I call it coaching. You don't have to call it coaching, but it's a design competence. It's a, it's a, a competence to set up a program that is appropriate to your learning goals, to your understanding of human being, and to your understanding of the organization and, and the, the market, business and the, and the business and, and the business. The yeah, yeah, right. That's wonderful. Okay, it's clear. Good. You were uh, saying I, something. Because you just uh, explained it to us within the small groups. Thank you. And I yeah. told him, okay, this is now I got it. Okay, <laughs> that's all. Because I, rem I don't remember <laughs> now. No, that's all. That's all. Okay. More questions or comments? I can share for our group. Actually, our topic was A, think together, and it was more like an associative flow of thoughts uh, than a structured uh, discussion. Uh, but we tried to capture the, f the flow. Thank you. Aber hier noch eins. Danke schön, genau. Nichts für Berater. Danke. Okay. So we said hope and A and think together. And our flow of thought was um, that our, the main message we got and or what we found most inspiring to continue with was uh, how to strengthen entrepreneurship inside and outside of organizations uh, with regard to the skills and competencies to be entrepreneurial, but also mindset and attitude. Because um, we have so many who are in a victim attitude, maybe, uh, uh, in organizations. Powerless. Yes, yeah. So, but on, on the other hand, we also then had the point that all the hype about entrepreneurship that's going on at the moment is kind of, is it, as an open question, also a de-responsibilization of companies, like they are letting people go, then they can start their own business, one out of ten will be successful, they buy them back. And the other nine will be paid by the state. So this kind of logic of making, getting rid of people and putting them into the public space, uh, there's also a risk behind that or what can be a support system for entrepreneurs in this situation? Um, and I, I remember I didn't bring it up in the discussion, but also uh, uh, I'm currently on paternity leave and doing my building my freelance ship and my consultant for paternity p paternity time. Yeah, she told me that most fa um, founders in Germany found either out of unemployment or out of maternity or paternity, which is interesting because it doesn't sound like a visionary entrepreneur, right? <laughs> um, so how can we help people build, and we reframed responsibility to the original term response ability. And that's what we are doing as coaches, we thought. So in a way, we are doing already entrepreneurship coaching. <laughs> Um, in what culture and climate can entrepreneurs flourish, especially inside organizations? It also needs um, probably or possibly other forms of leadership, uh, another mindset, maybe other forms of organizing. So we should then, if we work systemically, not only focus on the entrepreneur, but also on the context. Like, what you, like the story you just shared, we didn't know the story before, but that would fit <laughs> here. Everyone needs needs to take their role, including, for example, executives, not only the entre or intrapreneurs. So we'll look at the broader system. Then um, people need to be capable of doing something. They need to be motivated, be allowed, and be obliged in a way also. So it's about clarity of responsibility, and this links back to what we heard from you about the dialogue of responsibility that we could foster. Um, and then the next point was, but that also means how do we configure organizations or how do we, how can we organize differently? Organizing is a more 
a life term than organization. How can we organize differently to allow engagement? That's also something that we should have as a focus. And then finally, we were discussing if we want to do business coaching in the way you described it, we also need to build some knowledge about new forms of organizing. So, for example, holacracy, you know, who can explain the concept, who has experienced it, who knows what works well with it, who knows, who has been in an organization without formal leadership roles. And this is some knowledge that we can bring in as coaches. Um, because if I don't know there are other forms out there, I might not even ask the question. Uh, are there other forms out there and whom could we ask? It's even better if, if I can say, have you heard about this and how does it resonate with you, right? So also build some expertise in this business fields. That was our discussion. Any uh, additions? Or? Thanks. Thank you. So you did really uh, See, add, add uh, knowledge. We were the group discussing about uh, the reference to change management. And at the beginning, it was a good example for group dynamics because we discussed also, uh, do we uh, try to answer the question about the relationship to change management or do we discuss how to change managers? Uh, so changing managers, is it cha about change management or is it about changing managers? And in the end, we came up with a discussion on, of our role as a coach, regardless uh, it's dealing with organizational systems or with managers, and that it's important that we create an atmosphere where it is possible to uh, enter new rooms of being innovative, being creative, uh, being an entrepreneur. Uh, so uh, we very much focused on this role of a coach and how we deal with uncertainty and that we need to be a role model for um, being open of everything which happens in the client system as well. So. It seemed close to the end, uh, Bern, of as, the, you told, of, of as you told this morning. Yeah, <laughs> so if you, if. Is this, is this focus or do you want to? Uh, it was about, we had this point, okay. the our point, which is, um, is there wisdom in business? And uh, we continued the thought, uh, we first discussed on, on it and we found out that there is wisdom in business and uh, that coaches have to go on and, and learn from all this. However, we um, developed the thought and took it over to our own business, to the coaching business, and then we went on to, to the intention we had in, with um, our uh, present uh, conference, our present workshop on the INOC. And we thought, um, if I may continue at this point. So then we change focus? What yeah. Was yes. It w Let's think yeah. about our being here and our yeah. Yeah. purpose. Yeah. 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 That's the translation, integration, as you said there. In integration in the here and now. Yeah, right. right. Okay. So we, we thought, why are we here? And our, uh, what is the wisdom for us, for us as coaches, to be here? So. Um, we have been thinking of um, taking this idea to the discussion right now in order to, to let you join in into this uh, reflection. So that's all I wanted to say. So first of all, thank you, Chian Franco, for presenting to us and discussing with us and sharing your wisdom with us. <laughs> <laughs>